Hello and welcome to another episode of On My Bookshelf. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at a new ebook from Ross Hodner and Mark Bauer, The Essential Guide to Filters for Landscape Photography. As a landscape photographer myself, I already know that filters are an essential part of my kit bag. And quite often in my videos, people post comments asking me which filter system do I use, which filters should they buy. But I've never been able to point them in the direction of one comprehensive source. And I'm hoping this book, with looking at the table of contents, it seems to cover all the different filter systems, filter types, bang up to date information on the different manufacturers, different filter sizes, etc. I'm hoping that this book is going to be something I'm going to be able to recommend to a lot of people. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about the book. It's published by Nature TTL and it is an ebook which comes in PDF format. Now this has some distinct advantages, which means you can pretty well read it anywhere you want. You'll be able to read it on your computer, on your tablet, or even on your mobile phone, which means you should be able to take it out with you on location and use it as a quick reference guide. It's written by Ross Hodner and Mark Bauer. Now these guys have written quite a few books before, but a fair few of them on my bookshelf. Uh, behind me, but this is actually the first ebook that they've uh, co authored. Now, these guys are you know, well established landscape photographers who you can pretty well assure that the information contained in this book is coming from a, a trustworthy source. Now, if you want to pick up a copy of this book, I'll include a link in the video description below, but also check out Nature TTL's uh, YouTube channel. There's some really great content in there, and of course, check out Ross and Mark's websites. The book is 77 pages long and is packed full of information. It starts off with an introduction by the authors in which they talk about why filters are still an important part of uh, photography life, even in this modern digital age, and then goes on to talk about all the other things that you'll go on to read in the book. But one of the things that stands out for me straight away in this book is the imagery. Ross and Mark have included some of their best landscape photographs in this book, and they're a real standout feature for me. They also include textual information to go along with the picture that tells you what filter was used. But more importantly than that, it also includes the information about why they picked that particular filter. And I think that's really important when you're talking about filters is to know which one and also why that filter was used. The first couple of sections deal with different types of filter systems. So this is principally the screw-in filter versus the uh, slot-in filter system. Now I say versus, it's not really a case of that in this book. It's more about describing the pros and cons of each system and deciding, giving the, the, the reader the information necessary to make a decision about whether they go for one system or the other, or even a combination of both. And it covers all the major systems and all the different sizes of filters. So whether you're down at the small mirrorless side of stuff, down the micro four thirds, all the way up to the big 150 systems. It covers everything that you need to know, adapter rings, all that kind of stuff. So it's a really comprehensive section and will give you all the information you need to know about how to make a good purchasing decision about which filter system you're going to use. The next few sections deal with the main types of filter that you can expect to use in landscape photography. And this is the polarizer, the neutral density filter, and the neutral density graduated filter. So it talks about all the different types of filters you get. So that's the different strengths of neutral density filters, what are the difference between a soft, medium, and hard edge transition is when talking about graduated filters. But not only does it tell you about all these different types of filters, but it also tells you how to use them as well. So some really good practical information there. So for example, if you're using a neutral density graduated filter, how to position the transition in your frame, or if you're using a neutral density filter, how to calculate exposure time. And it also gives you lots of creative ideas. So, you know, for example, using a neutral density filter isn't just about smoothing out water or how to use a circular polarizer, for example, and how you might use that to control water reflection. So lots of good practical information in there and a really good reason why you want to have the ebook because you can carry that information around with you and reference it while you're on location. The next few sections deal with all the other types of filters that you can get out there. So this will include things like close-up filters, astro filters, UV filters, monochrome filters, infrared filters, color filters, even mist stripe filters. So there's plenty of information in there. And if you want to extend your kit bag of filters, for example, and try something a bit more creative. There's also a section called recommended filter kits. And I think this is going to be really useful because I often get asked, you know, which filters should I buy first? Which ones are the essential items? 
what Ross and Mark have done is they split it up into really sort of three principal categories. There's the uh, beginner slash budget friendly setup, then the enthusiast, and then they've got one for the pro slash semi pro. So there should be a kit list there for all sorts of budgets and all sorts of photographic experience. It's great to see that the authors have also included a section called in computer filtration. So this is lots of post-production techniques that you can put to good use. So things like using the digital graduated filter, radio filter, range mask, a particular favorite feature of mine, HDR, even how to do blending of images in Photoshop. So there's still plenty to learn and some really good techniques there that you can put to good use when you get back and you're doing your image editing. So is this a book for your virtual bookshelf? Absolutely, yes. This is probably the most comprehensive, detailed, and importantly, up-to-date book on filters there is. So even if you're just starting out in filters and you're completely confused about what all the different filter types are and what all the terminology is, this book is really going to help you out. And then when you do get your filters, or you've already got some filters, it will help you out in how to use them in, in practical terms. Really good, solid advice on how to get the best out of your filter systems. And it's not just focused on one filter system or one manufacturer. It covers a broad range of filter systems and manufacturers. So you've got plenty of choice and plenty of information there from a trustworthy source. So whether you're just starting out in filters or whether you're looking to extend your filter bag, there really is something in this book for everyone. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of On My Bookshelf. I have a real passion for photography books, as you might be able to tell from my bookshelf behind me. So if you've got an extra few minutes, why not check out one of my favorite episodes of On My Bookshelf? I'll include a link in the corner of the screen. But until the next episode, I'll see you then.